here at the uh, Desmond Tutu HIV Foundation Youth Center. Uh, it is appropriately named after uh, somebody who has done heroic work not only on behalf of peace and justice uh, and the ending of apartheid, but also uh, who very early on took on uh, the challenge of HIV AIDS uh, here in South Africa and around the world. And so uh, I'm, I'm so proud to be with my friend again. Uh, and, Thank you. Uh, an unrelenting champion of, of justice and human dignity. You know, uh, South Africa obviously has faced a heavy burden uh, from HIV, uh, as well as uh, other diseases, uh, tuberculosis uh, most recently. But uh, the great news is that South Africa is now leading the way uh, in caring for its citizens, in paving the way for a brighter future uh, for uh, the South African people and their families. and. Uh, I am very proud that you, the United States has been such a terrific partner on this issue. You know, I was hearing stories from all these incredible uh, folks, uh, some of whom are counselors and uh, outreach workers, uh, some of whom uh, have uh, struggled with HIV AIDS themselves. Uh, and uh, you know, the great news is that, uh, in part because of leadership from people like uh, Archbishop Tutu, but also uh, because of the great work of nurses like Sister Iris or uh, young people uh, like uh, uh, Mbelo and, and uh, wonderful counselors like uh, Lin, Lindiwi. Uh, what we've seen is uh, a reduction of the stigma around testing on HIV AIDS, uh, greater education uh, around uh, prevention, and uh, what we've seen is uh, treatment uh, that allows uh, people to manage uh, HIV and uh, live long and productive lives. And a lot of that has to do with the terrific work of uh, the South African people. But uh, the United States has really done uh, wonderful work uh, through the PEPFAR program. It started under my predecessor, President Bush, and continued uh, through our administration. Uh, we've seen more than $3.7 billion in supporting South Africa's efforts. Uh, to combat HIV and AIDS. Uh, together, we're investing in building South Africa's capacity uh, to manage uh, a national response to HIV AIDS. Uh, South African government is showing leadership up and down the line, and uh, uh, the health minister here uh, has uh, talked about uh, all the initiatives that are taking place. Uh, and this center is a wonderful example of that transition. It's moving from receiving U.S. government uh, support through PEPFAR to now independent funding uh, that continues to secure the health and success uh, of Africa's next generation. Uh, and uh, you know, part of what makes this center so successful is it combines not just uh, health advice and uh, testing and uh, counseling, but it also provides educational opportunities, sports activities, recreational activities, so that young people are able to come here uh, without uh, the fear of stigma or potentially running into their parents and uh, getting honest, smart advice uh, about what they need uh, to do to, to keep themselves healthy and uh, to uh, ensure their, that they uh, are not uh, infected by HIV AIDS. So uh, because of the, the wonderful work that's being done on the ground, uh, because of the partnership between the United States uh, and South Africa. Uh, a model, by the way, that uh, has been duplicated across the continent. We have the possibility of achieving an AIDS-free generation. Achieving an AIDS-free generation uh, and making sure that everybody in our human family uh, is, uh, is able to uh, enjoy their lives uh, and raise families and uh, succeed and maintain their health uh, here in Africa. Uh, and around the world. So uh, I, I just want to say thank you to all of you for sharing your stories with me. Um, I, I want to give a special thanks to Ambassador uh, Eric Goosby, who doesn't always get a lot of attention, but has been an outstanding leader on behalf of uh, our global AIDS efforts. And uh, if it weren't for uh, people like Eric, uh, as well as uh, uh, the people ar around this room, uh, we'd be far, far behind, and a lot more people would be suffering tragedy. So uh, thank you all. And, and uh, uh, 
Archbishop uh, Desmond Tutu uh, needs to say something because his picture's over there, <laughs> his name's on the project. Uh, I think it's fair to say that... Uh, yes. I, I should have said this earlier, but then I, I, any time is okay. It is a very great honor to, have a, to, wel to, have a, to welcome the President of the United States, uh, even at uh, such a uh, summer time for us South Africans. It is a special joy to welcome the President to uh, Africa, the continent of his forebears, the cradle of humanity. I don't have to compete uh, against uh, your beautiful uh, Michelle uh, doing push-ups uh, in public. <laughs> <coughs> Mr. President, when you became the first black incumbent of the White House, you don't know what you did for our psyches. My wife sat in front of the TV with tears running down her face as she watched the celebrations in Chicago. You won, and we won. And you repeated the feat when the odds were stacked against you. So welcome home, even if you're about to go. Um, thank you and the American people You've heard uh, everyone here thanking you so much for the contribution that uh, Pep, the PEPFA Fund has made uh, in our struggle against TB, HIV, and AIDS, and malaria. Not just here, but in other parts of Africa. Our center, as you have heard, is run by the HIV center of the university where you are going just now. Uh, um, you, you have funded us. You funded uh, funding a center in the University of Stellenbosch TB Center. And we have just rejoiced to hear that the HIV in infections in, in infants has dropped by a whopping 63% in very large measure due to the financial support that uh, we have received from yourself. So thank you. As you have been here before, I mean Africa, you have heard I speak of something called Ubuntu. Ubuntu. And we've said a person is a person to other persons. Your success is our success. Your failure, whether you like it or not, <laughs> is our failure. <laughs> and so we want to assure you that we pray for you to be a great success. We want you to be known as having brought peace to the world, especially to have brought an end to the anguish of all in the Middle East. We pray that you will be you will be known as having brought peace in all of these places where there is there is strife. We, you will have brought peace and no need for a, a Guantanamo Bay detention center. We you will have brought peace and we won't be weeping as we do for the anguish of our sisters and brothers in the Middle East. We are bound to you. You belong to us. A 
and your victory is our victory. So thank you. Thank you. Give me a hug. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Keep bringing it. Huh? I always do. Right. Thank you, everybody.